Hey, what's up guys? It is that time. It is time to explore the Creepy Mausoleum 2022. It is very windy out here. Hopefully you guys can hear me. But uh, yeah, it's a nice day actually, you know, nice sunny day. And uh, we're out here at the cemetery, Memorial Day. The only time that this place is open. As you can see, it is open. No one's in here, even though it is busy out here. Uh, but we're gonna go on in, so let's go. The creepy Mausoleum 2022. All right, here we are, guys. Still has that same smell. Same exact smell. And <laughs> this looks the same as it did um, two years ago, three years ago. It, nothing's changed. Guys, I mean, check out my video from 2019 where I go inside here, as well as 2021. And you will see that things are basically the same. It's really kind of chilly in here too. Yeah. Oh, look. Look at this, guys. Same thing. Look, they haven't repaired anything. The same as the other videos, you'll see. Same thing. Haven't repaired anything. It's this, this place, like I, I tell you, this place is locked down, okay? It is locked down. Um, for the entire year and it's only open on Memorial Day weekend and that's it otherwise it's chained it's locked and that's it that's how they leave it so um, <laughs> yeah this is uh, it's so weird because I don't live in this neighborhood anymore so I'm still calling it my neighborhood of horror <laughs> but it's it's weird not being able to jump the fence and just come here whenever I want to. Now I actually have to drive. Um, you know, I have to drive here. Uh, but that's not bad. It's I only live like probably seven or eight blocks away. More damage up there. I don't know, man. They they don't... When they open this, like you can tell, like the floors are dirty as hell. Like they're just... They don't clean in here. Even though there are people who take care of the cemetery and stuff, they don't they don't do anything in here. They just open the door and that's it. All right, so just a little bit of history about this mausoleum. Uh, there is an aerial view of this neighborhood in the year 1901, okay? And what it shows is one part of the cemetery is there. There are no houses over here, like where my neighborhood, my old neighborhood is. No houses, it's just land. And that part of the cemetery on that end was still there. And then there was like a dirt path in this building is here in 1901. Now, I'm not sure if it was built before that or if it was built in 1901. I don't know. All I know is that this was the only structure here. And ever since then, they started, you know, putting trees, putting more gravestones. I mean, it goes all the way like this, all the way surrounding this area. Um, but I thought it was kind of cool that this structure was here back in 1901. Um, and there was just nothing out there. Uh, that's really fascinating. And, but yeah, this place is old. And I've encountered quite a few things back in when I started movie review time. YouTube channel back in like 2009. Um, I used to come out here at night with my night vision camera, which I don't have. I wish I still had my night vision camera. I come up here and go up to the doors and try to look in the glass and uh, see if I see anything. <laughs> um, it was just uh, it was just for a video. It was it was kind of I don't know. I have to give myself some credit though actually doing that. Uh, but yeah, I come in here. You know, I come here at night. Sometimes the lights would be on. Those lights up there in the corner, right there. I, I explained that in the other videos, that these are controlled by a, a flip switch. And the only way to turn them on is to do that. 
There's no timer or nothing like that. I thought maybe the guys out there would have set a timer, but they don't. I actually talked to a guy. Something's in here. Something is here. This place is haunted, maybe even just a little bit. Something is turning those lights on sometimes. And uh, you can see it, like I said, out this window. That's where you can see it in my old house. Come out my back door and you see those windows lit up. That means the light's on. So, something is switching them on. I mean, this whole place has switches, okay? Like these. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what those do. But, um, yeah, so the lights, they come on sometimes. Uh, I've caught an orb in the basement, and we're going to go into the basement again here because I want to see what it looks like. But everything here looks basically the same, just like it did three years ago. Um, yeah. Still has that bench that I sat down in in one of the videos. And um, nothing's really, yeah, still smells the same. Let's go check out the basement now. All right, here we go. We have the, I like to call these the shining curtains, just because they, I don't know why, they just remind, they're old. They're long curtains, but they have not been cleaned, I would say, for years. Look at that. I mean, look. I don't know if the camera's picking it up as well. Um, it, yeah, it's dirty. Um, they... <laughs> Oh man, but uh, over here, of course, is the basement, and um, yeah, this is the probably the creepiest part of the building. I remember when I was younger, I'd always try to come over here and uh, you know go down there when it was dark or whatever. So There it is, the winding staircase down. Flip the switch. Yeah, it's like a you're descending into hell or something. Look at that. Could, could the staircase be more creepy? What do you got? Anybody down there? It's me, Rob. I come here every year. To visit you guys or any spirits that are here it's me Rob I'm always the guy with the camera you know me all right guys um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go down hope I don't slip and fall these stairs I have big feet okay I remember one time I did slip because the stairs were wet and I did slip. All right, guys, here we are in the basement. This spot right here is where I caught that orb the very first time I filmed down here. Looks like this is a place for a sub pump down here. Yeah, looks like they have water damage down here, too. Um, all right, so let's see if the statues are here. Yep, look, statues are still here after all these years. Those videos that I filmed before, you see the statues there, same statues. Um, what's interesting about this too, back there there are rooms that go, they stretch really far. And I've never been able, obviously I can't climb back there, but. I was always interested to see what was back there. Um, perhaps if I was a kid, I could probably crawl back there, but I can't <laughs> right now. So, yeah, that's interesting. Those statues have been here. The, those have been there probably for 10, 15 years. They've never moved them. And there is only, I think, two lights down here. Let's see, there's this one and that one. Then you flip the switch upstairs. But, uh, yeah. There's the steps going up. Oh, I 
think it's just the flagpoles. Dude, I, I know. <laughs> I was hearing stuff. I'm like, holy crap. I was hearing stuff up there. I heard like a clanging sound. It's just the flags. something for me? If anybody's here, can you tap on something? Let me know you're here. Tap. A little tappy. little tap a -roo. Tap, 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 tappy. wind from the door over there and a lot of clanging which kind of sucks if it's so loud but I didn't hear anything down there <sighs> well I don't know man it's the thing is like if there is any kind of paranormal activity that happens here it's usually just random like I told that story where I was right here okay I was sitting over here, and I had the camera placed right here looking at me, okay? While it was recording, there was a woman's voice, and it said something in the camera, and I couldn't make out what it said. The thing is, there was something said, and I don't know. Like, it, I had to, like, turn up the volume really, really high, and I still could not make it out, but it was definitely a person, so... And like I said, I caught that orb in the basement, and it wasn't a bug, it, was a, it wasn't dust, it was an orb. So, um, yeah, <laughs> things just happen randomly. Um, but that's just, that's just how it happens here. It's just, it's just you just never know. Um, but uh, anyway... I always try to do the cup test, and I'll explain what that is. 
Sometimes I always like to try to do a test where if I set like a cup or something down, I ask the spirit to like turn it over or something like that. And usually it never, it never happens. Like it never, um, it never works. <laughs> I think I've tried it in the past few videos or maybe I didn't show it in the videos or maybe I cut it out because it was a fail. Um, I don't see any vases or cups that I can actually use for that because usually up and down these quadrants, you know, this month. There are people in the room right now. People. <laughs> so I'm standing in one of those hallways down there. These group of kids come in and they were really loud. And the girl saw me just standing here like this. And you could tell she got freaked out. Like, oh, but she, she wasn't expecting anyone to be in here. She turned the corner. She goes like this. <laughs> I think I scared the shit out of her by accident. It wasn't on purpose, but um, that was actually kind of funny. <laughs> um, I think they left. Yeah, they left. Yep, they're gone. So... Anyway, guys, uh, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, nothing really going on in this video. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this damage. What? Uh, is there treasure in here? What the fuck? Look at that. Holy crap. That's really bad. <laughs> oh, man. Sure as hell don't fix this place, do they? Well, I'm going to cut it off here. Um, this has been my uh, 2022 mausoleum video. Like I said, I'm going to do one every year. I didn't get to do it in 2020 because of COVID. They didn't have this place open. Um, so, yeah, I had to skip that year. But every year from now on, I'm going to be coming in here, filming for you guys, seeing if I can capture anything or see if I can see anything different but uh yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh stay tuned next year for the mausoleum video of 2023 I might actually try to come up to the doors you know when it's not open maybe at night maybe I can try some of that stuff again if my camera will pick it up that is so maybe I'll try some of that in the meantime but I hope you guys enjoy these mausoleum videos. They're a lot of fun to make and um, it's a lot of fun to come in here. It's just memories. I've come in here even when I was younger um, with my dad and everything would still be the same. It has the same smell. It has the same look. Just, you know, nothing really changes about it. Um, anyway, all right. All right, guys, this is Rob and I'm leaving. I'll see you guys next year. Whoever resides in here, I will see you guys next year, next Memorial Day, 2023. I don't know if, this, if there's any spirits here. I'm just wondering if they remember me. <laughs> they remember me, the guy with the camera, Rob. Yep, you guys always, if there are any spirits in here, you guys always sig signal. You always seem to signal through that window that someone's here with the lights turning on. Hopefully the lights come on one of these times. I'll come through here and try to film. All right. We are off. Time to go. All right. Happy Memorial Day, guys. Happy Memorial Day. <laughs>